So welcome back everyone. Mike and Melissa here on a very cold morning today, isn't it? It is cold. <laughs> I think tonight it's supposed to get down to 15 or 18 degrees. That's cold. But I heard this weekend it's supposed to hit 60. So I did hear that. We'll see what happens. Uh, but today's video, uh, I'm going to be cutting some wood, running the sawmill, running the machine. Uh, but we're just kind of giving you a look, as you can tell from the intro to this video, uh, kind of what we do on a normal day. A lot of people ask about that. It's nothing real exciting. No. But uh, we start our day about 4 or 4.30 in the morning. Uh, that's when I start editing videos. That's when Melissa lets the right. dogs out. Yeah. And then uh, at what, 4.45, you go to the gym? I leave for the gym. And, and you've been staying, like you and what's your, what's your name? Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> you and Debbie. We've been doing you do the regular extra. class and then another one after that. Yeah. And then... Uh, and then when I come home from the gym, I feed we feed the dogs. Yeah. Feed so we the eliminated the 4:30 feeding. Yeah. We just moved it back. Yeah. So they just, eat three times a day. And, yeah. Uh, Archie would eat eight times a day if you yeah. allow, allow him to. <laughs> but we definitely get up early and get our day going. Yeah. Uh, I can't edit video first or at night. I don't know why. I just. Yeah. Am sharpest first thing in the morning. Yeah. And uh, it's all downhill from there, but I am. Um, I can get out of bed. People talk about, you know, drinking coffee to get their day started or they'll, uh, not me. I can literally get out of bed and tear into something uh, within a minute. doesn't bother me one bit. But come six or seven yeah. o'clock in the evening, oh, yeah. I'm tired. Just, Especially in the winter months. Yeah, when it gets dark early. Yeah. Now that's something else that's weird. You know, in the summertime, you'll be out like cutting grass or running a string trimmer. It's 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night and yeah. come in. This time of year, 8.30, 9 o'clock, I'm out. Out yeah. like a light. Yeah. But uh, just unloaded the fuel tank. I got a 100-gallon off-road diesel. Actually, it wasn't quite empty, but I've been going through it pretty good. And uh, one of the subscribers just sent me a fuel filter for this tank, so we appreciate that. His name's Mark, Mark right? Yeah. From Louisiana? Is that where he's from? I can't remember. I would appreciate think so. that, Mark. Yeah, Arkansas, maybe. That was very nice of you. And uh, so I'm going to go put this away go down fire up the excavator what I do I've been planning my days around the weather uh, <laughs> when it's cold and frozen like this it's nice to be in the cab machine and moving dirt you stay out of the mud and you stay warm because it's frozen out and then as the temperature warms up in the afternoon that's when I do like the wood cutting and saw milling and stuff like that so works that good so let's hope it warms up <laughs> Melissa's gonna go inside start cranking I'm gonna out go more t-shirts yeah I open up the press and it'll warm me up in no time yeah <laughs> So if you're interested in a t-shirt, there will be a link in the description and you'll be coming out with a new design here in a yeah. couple of weeks. So. Yeah, we have a new, new design and it might be a limited edition. So we'll see how it goes. So stick around. We're going to uh, stack and sticker some lumber. I'm pretty picky about how I do that. He is. We're going to cut some firewood and uh, may run the sawmill. Going to move a little dirt. Uh, all kind of stuff going on here today. So we'll see you in a bit. Set this fuel tank down here. At some point, this will be under a roof of some type. I still want to get a bigger tank, but uh, this 100 gallon, it lasts me a while. I'm going to grab this empty basket here, and we will take this down to the bulk firewood bin, aka the wood bunker. And uh, Levi's going to fill some of these today. So we'll actually be taking some wood out of the firewood bunker and putting some in today. I'm in a bad spot here. Set a couple baskets here. I always get a lot of questions about the uh, wood bunker. 
you know like what's the point of all this well basically this is just a spot to store a whole bunch of firewood keep it out of the dirt and a place for us to work out of like we can uh, load firewood baskets right here you know you're out of the mud the wood's not getting all dirty I can bring the tractor in here with the firewood bucket load this stuff out put it in a dump trailer without having to touch it again and I've been talking to uh, some of my customers and the plan is to uh, actually start delivering a lot of wood in the spring instead of waiting till fall so most of this will probably be gone before summer even starts we'll see and then we'll start adding to it again just a nice spot to keep everything out of the dirt and it doesn't take up much room and it holds an awful lot of wood now uh, yesterday afternoon I was down here and if you remember I had a big mess here I had some logs left over I only have got three more to cut up for firewood that was in this pile right here but I put some of that shale in here and I just started my ramp going down around on that side I'm gonna work on that a little bit right now I need to dig some more shale off the corner down there and then I'll have a ramp that comes down that way goes right around back up the other side it'll be perfect there's not a ton of room down there but I can use uh, everything that I got looks like I got to stir up the uh, burn pit there a little bit I threw some shale up here I'm gonna need a lot more for this ramp but uh, I should be able to get it relatively close here man is the heater working this machine here Woo! You gotta turn it down. back kind of up top and then uh, cut it down like with the blade it'll go in better than if you just you know strike off a big pile or something
All right, I got this ramp started here going down around. That'll work out good. I am going to need some more shale, but uh, that's okay. I got plenty of that. Next up, I'm going to clean up those trees down there. I got some treetops and some stumps. I'll put those in the burn pit. And I got three small logs over there, one elm and two cherry. I'll bring them up and we'll cut those up, split them, and then we'll uh, move on to something else. sweatshop my kitchen table so these are the labels um, I lay the shirt on I quickly just measure put the transfer upside down and then I just quickly measure it to make sure it's centered just right with the arms the sleeves I mean how many are you cranking out about an hour well I don't know I I don't know 
That's a good question. I can do almost 50 a day, so. Yeah, we we usually take 30 or 35 a day to the post office. Orders, yeah. Yeah, orders. Um, yeah. And then maybe more. There's... Archie's here to help some too. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's a big help. I got to make sure there's no dog hair on them. And... Yeah. I just came up for, uh, I'm going to take Hunter somewhere for a bit and yeah. then go back down, but I've been getting a lot done here this morning. It's a cold day, so I'm still warming up, but you know what? This is my like little heater right here. <laughs> It's trying to uh, snow a little bit now. Is it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Just checking in. So the weather's not sure what it wants to do. It was uh, trying to snow there for a little bit. And the sun came out. Now it looks like it may snow a little bit again. I got some more wood cut up. All those little ones I got from down below. And uh, Levi's over here filling up some baskets. We're going to fire up the uh, splitter and replace everything that he's uh taken out of here yeah. it doesn't take long at all to fill these up he does them pretty quick what do you think yeah i like filling them you know i, I like uh it reminds me a lot of when i was a fedex when i first started there loading trucks and stuff it's pretty similar you know yeah same movement you know unloading i guess when i would unload trailers same thing you just get going and then stacking yeah. yeah that's good we'll probably end up filling about uh 10 or 12 of these just for all the neighbors and then the rest will go for bulk firewood then you know the bundle wood that's in that basket there i've got a couple of those we need a bunch more of those filled as well but uh i'll fire up the splitter and we'll blow through all that stuff Sounds good. that we got So we just replaced what Levi took out in about uh, 15 minutes. That's incredible. Yeah, that thing's crazy. Oak and cherry and a little bit of uh, elm in there. That's good.
so that has been a uh, pretty productive day so far I got this ramp cut in here need a little bit more on there but I'll get that fixed up got some trees taken care of got some uh, stumps cooking in the burn pit we cut and split a bunch of firewood a couple baskets filled with firewood and we got some lumber stacked and stickered I'll have to cut some more stickers tonight but uh, all in all that's a pretty good day Oh, and I can't forget, uh, Melissa's up there cranking out the t-shirts. So, looking around, I think it's starting to look a lot like a business. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, share them with your friends. Thanks.